Good afternoon everybody, Insignificant Fellow here and welcome to what I'm calling a Polish special. Yeah, unlike the little one which only contained a few interesting things, this one has many. Because I was recently in the um, nearest town centre to me where all the shops are and next to our big Tesco Extra there was an actual proper proper Polish shop selling tons of stuff. Um, yeah, so if you're ever in a Hanley in Stoke-on-Trent, um, yeah, find, find the Tesco Extra first. It's a massive great big building and right next to it's this poor unfortunate building <laughs> that seems to have been inadvertently trapped in between the derelict furniture shop and Tesco's car park. But anyway, on to the video and first we'll start with some drugs. It's a Mamba Duo. All the words on the back of it are of course in a language to which I don't understand. All I can tell you really <laughs> from the back of the packaging here Feel free to translate that in your own time if you want to, whenever it comes into focus. Any day now. There we go. There is um, an E4, an E number in there. E435. So yeah. I want a word gummy at the start, so I'm, I'm assuming this is chewing gum actually. Hmm, this, might, this might not have been the maybe I want to start with. Oh well. Hmm, I'll have to see. Yeah, it looks a bit like chewing gum. And a little thing that says mamba on it. Hope this isn't the drug or I am in for a bad day at work. It's a bit like a, um, <laughs> what's it called? Oh God, what they called? Do you know the lollies that are, uh, I can't think of the name. Oh God, everyone else, quick, say the name. <laughs> you know what I mean, it's that lolly. It's two things. Double something, I don't know. Oh, oh, no, no. Hmm. I don't know if I can swallow it or not. <laughs> I have. Let's see what happens. Yeah. That sort of tastes like generic hubba bubba. Nothing. No, actually, a bit like a mawam. A bit like a strawberry mawam, to be fair. Mawam mixed with hubba bubba. I might have just swallowed chewing gum. I think chewing gum's got a different texture than what I experience now. And here's the dog to aid me in um, my research. <laughs> yes, let's call it that. Would you like to try some things in the future? A vacant stare means yes. Let's move on to the next thing. Pierrot. Yes, it's, an, oh, it's quite often a problem found uh, in coastal towns across the UK. What with all of our Victorian piers being steel and wood, seawater ruins them. Nice to know the chocolate after it. But yes, this does appear to be. Um, oh, oh you've, got, you've got English words in there. How, how generous of them. It is. You can make that out. Crash, what's wrong with the autofocus? It's a peanut bar in milk chocolate. <laughs> it's just out of focus. There we go. Good camera. So yeah, that should be alright. I'm not the biggest fan of peanuts in the world, but... Oh, it's very... So... Oh, it smells like um, Butterfinger. Very soft, I mean... Mm. Yeah, but... Mmm. That's actually really nice. That tastes like a chocolate butterfinger. Like, well, a butterfinger with more chocolate on it. But <laughs> mm. I approve of this message. Mm. What next? Mm. Well, this video is getting so peaceful. We should review something a bit violent. It's an attack. Ow. Stop doing that. There we go. I've subdued the um, attacker. It's a chocolate attack. I believe in the industry that's called a heart attack or a diabetic attack. <laughs> it appears to be some form of wafery thing. Um, let me just check the back. It's a date. <laughs> yeah, nothing in English. <laughs> this is going to be a reoccurring theme with this video, I fear. Oh no, I've decorated the table with dust. I appear to have subdued the attacker too much. But yes, it's a wafery chocolatey bill. Fine, Mr. Dog, you can have some. Well, the dog likes it. I don't. A bit dry. Not unpleasant, just... Just a bit dry. I'd eat it. Sure, if you gave me one, I'd be like, oh, thanks. It's called an attack. How funny. But, you know, mm, a bit dry. Hmm. Let's go for something possibly even drier. It's a, um... 
Grzeski Gofrey. Chocolate with hazelnuts. Possibly with wafer as well. You might want to mention that when you've got that kind of imagery on your packaging there, lads. I'm no expert, but... <laughs> oh, apparently you have to be an expert to get into this packaging. You've licked my fingers, stupid dog, now I've got to open things. <laughs> You've doomed me. Oh, she chews me teeth. Look what you've reduced me to. Mm. For those of you who care enough why I fight this, the dog is now a regular part of my video. Not on purpose, but... I record in the room where his bed is, so um, whenever anything that smells nice appears, he wants to try it. So yeah, we've got an assistant now. Yeah, that's the way for bar. I can confirm that with my scientific research. Mm. I like that. I know it's dry because it's um. It's a wafer. <laughs> you know, if you if you go to a wet wafer, return it to the store immediately. Yeah, that's not too bad. You can't try this because there's chocolate in there, and I prefer you alive. Mm. Not too bad. Not too chocolatey. Not too anything really. A little bit. The chocolate was a little bit like the um, the chocolate you come across in a oh god, what's it called? No, uh, oh, uh, Natalia. Them uh, them uh, breakfast bars you've got to which I really wouldn't advise for breakfast. Seems you want. Billy two million calories in them. The next one that I've pre-opened is the Mega Gretzky Toffee flavoured. I've gathered that because um, a loose translation might mean toffee. Yep. Yeah. It's a oh, I'm gonna put some words there that we can understand. It's a uh, milk chocolate coated wafer bar with toffee flavoured cream. Yeah. Looks a little bit like the um not the last one I won before it. It's a uh, ooh. It's a, it's a slab of chocolate that smells really nicely like toffee. I already like it. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah. Looks quite nice. The toffee isn't too overpowering. Everything works together. I'm surprised, really. Toffee can be quite overpowering. Like in Caramac. It's chocolate, believe it or not, but no one knows. <laughs> it tastes like a bar of caramel. Hmm. What to try next? I know. We'll try the biggest thing we've got here. I've got some paprika. Oh, some Osmaku oh paprika. An anime character. From Crunch Chips. From um, Lorenz Snack World. That isn't the name of the shop, by the way. That's just, uh, okay. Doesn't everyone seem happy on the back? Hopefully these taste nice. Oh, God, the, the face recognition's chiming in on him. <laughs> Can see you. Yes, none of the ingredients or the things on the back are in British. So I'm just going to assume these are crunchy chips that taste like paprika. Yep. I was correct. Crunchy like them big walkers chips to do we? The smell of paprika isn't extremely strong, so I don't expect these to be mega spicy. No, really pleasant. I'll uh, seal these back up later and eat them after my tea. I'll give one the dog. What do you think? Can he catch it? Of course he can't. I enjoyed it. Oh, for God's sake. <laughs> the tripod's fell off the leg. And my legs are fell off the tripod. Oh God, come here. Come here, you stupid thing. <laughs> Yes, this is one of the uh, the few problems faced by having a tripod that you can uh, take apart and store easily. Oh no, oh god, now I'm on the wong. <laughs> uh -huh. There we go. No, oh, no. <laughs> uh, there we go. Yeah, we're back in the room. But yes, back to the crisps. Very nice. Let's enjoy them after my food. Hmm. What next? I know. Three bits. You've heard of 64 bits. Now we've got three bits. Everything's going to be randomly blocky. Yes, this does appear to be from um, any possible translation. Oh, it's from Mandelaise, you know, the company that um, owns Cadbury. So I expect 
from its power and its smackability that this is actually just a bar of chocolate. Yes, it is. Nom, nom, nom. Oh no, there's stuff in it. Nice stuff. Hmm. Ooh, that is nice. I'm gonna eat the rest of that on my way to work. Ooh, it's a bit like um, I'm kinder bars. Nom nom nom. A lot of this has been really nice. I've inadvertently picked a load of products that I like. <laughs> hmm. Hard to chew. Hmm, you've got several more. But I'm thirsty. Let's go with the funniest one that I've managed to find. It is... It, is that an O? Aranzade? It's the original smack. Like, that sounds like a fucking move from, from karate game. <laughs> Just, original smack. Oh, maximum damage. KO. I believe this may taste like Tizer. I'm not really... Uh, yep, fizzy. Ties are smelly. Yep. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's give it a taste. Yep. Polish Tizer. It's called that. If you ever find yourself in Poland and you fancy Tizer, rather than Coke or any other readily available nice drink, have some Aranzada. You'd, you'd think it would be orange if it's Aranz. But no. Yeah. That's not too bad. I'm drunk with this. Remember them Tim Bark things we did from Poland? Christ. What next? How about this? Poeekle. Or Poelic? Poelic? I don't know. It's a Malekansi Semekatanka. Oh, is there English round here? Yes, there is. It's a milk chocolate bar with a creamy flavoured filling. Oh, it's a bit like this one then. Mm. Let's see if it is in fact familiar to 3 bit. I mean, it feels. Oh, it does. Oh, it actually does feel like it. Have I bought two of the same thing with a different name? I can't get any. Can't be made it. Oh, hmm. <laughs> it appears to be a lot more um, squishable. It smells like. Oh. It smells like a, um, the other oh, strawberry one from <laughs> McQuality Street. I want it now. Mmm. Is Smetanka strawberry? Who knows? That's really nice. Bit sweet. There's a bit too much filling in there. Mmm. But yes. Nice, once again. Now, the weak thing I've noticed is there's a lot of um, wafery stuff coming in here. I didn't know it was all wafery when I picked it up. I just went in the shop and was like, oh, look at all this stuff. And now we've got Prince Polio. Polo. <laughs> we've got the Prince of Polio and he's really fucking fat. It's a classic from 1955 from Rocco or is it from Oslo? Who knows? And it, oh, no, it's from our favourite company. Mondelez, who are also known for um, ruining Cadbury's completely, so this Easter may in fact be the last good one. What with the, um, the quality of the chocolate dropping severely over Christmas, and not to mention the size of the chocolate bars. Thank you, America, you fucking ruined it again. This one appears to be dark chocolate, I don't know where it smells funny. I'm going to go with the dark chocolate. Nom, 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 nom. Yeah. That's dark chocolate, all right. I don't like dark chocolate, but that's been biased against it. Regardless of that, we have one item for the nasty zone over there. And some rubbish. Now, our last thing. I think I know what it is. I don't know if that's what it is. I want it to be what it is. It's Maleco. It might be mayonnaise. It might be condensed milk. I don't know. There's a cow on it. It can be either product, I think. <laughs> I've got some bread. Overseas finest 50-50. And we're going to see. Because there's no English at all on here whatsoever. There's nothing that really suggests egg. Oh no, it's so...
Right, they've got the keys now. Which one of you is um, small enough to <laughs> break the hell? Excuse me for snorting, my nose hurts. I'll use this one. Yeah, there we go, we're in. After punching a hole with it and probably breaking the front door key. Let's see. Oh, 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 yeah, oh, oh, oh. I've, I've filled the lead. Some form of condensed milk, I believe. Ugh. Tastes weird. Let's put it on the bread. Yeah, you need to. Oh, yeah, you can't even see the bread. <laughs> Yes, it does appear to be some form of condensed milk. I'm only putting it on the bread because um, I don't know what to eat this on. And I've watched the channel um, Life of Boris. He's from Russia. And um, he appears to have put condensed milk on bread. So I'm going to follow in his uh, footsteps. He's also got more subscribers than me. But that doesn't take much to figure out. Let's see what this tastes like. Oh. Hmm. That is lovely. <laughs> Where has this been all of my life? And declaring this an outright winner. That is nice. I don't like condensed milk. But apparently Russia seems to have fixed it so that it doesn't taste like arse. Yes. Maleko. So I'm glad my first thought was correct because I saw Maleko and a cow and thought, hmm, milk possibly. But yeah, it's also in um, this really nice tube. I don't, I don't know why I like this. It's, just, it's, just, it's aesthetically pleasing. But yes, that has been our random Polish special out of the blue. I should have uploaded, done this uh, last week, but I didn't. Uh, yeah, so if you um, want to watch more videos like this on a every other week, most of the time basis, go ahead and subscribe now if you want. I'm not forcing you. Uh, but yeah. Also check out the other Polish video I did on some of the stuff Little had in for their um, Polish special. See you later guys. Goodbye.